also I added all the wet ingredients first which was lemon I don't know if you can hear this it's like basically making a noise like a sizzling because I mixed the wet ingredients of the lemon um, applesauce lemon zest then baking soda now I'm adding the melted coconut oil basically adding the baking soil soda to that like the lemon and stuff that basically made this reaction that's why you see all these bubbles and you heard that fizzling um, the only thing I did to kind of relieve that is added flour but this still kind of makes me nervous um, if it's fizzling like that I don't really know if I want to ingest it per se um, so uh, I'll think about making this recipe I'll think about how it tastes and and see how I feel from there so the texture actually turned out okay this to me would actually be a good um, like pizza dough because it's like it sticks together amazingly like this is the best kind of like AIP cookies I've made yet um, just amazing texture I use the coconut um, protein flour that I got from um, Walmart for eleven dollars it's Carrington brand Carrington Farms brand coconut protein and then I also used Otto's um, brand cassava flour from Whole Foods which I think it was like maybe ten dollars seven to ten dollars but yeah um, those are the two flours that I used for it I was nervous with this recipe and I still am because of um, mixing I think the uh, absorbic acid vitamin C with the uh, lemon zest and um, juice so hopefully that does not tend to be an it hopefully that isn't an issue with my stomach but we'll see um, I think it tastes pretty good so far as far as like the batter um, but uh, and I used applesauce instead of eggs uh, so do keep that in mind um, as well but um, yeah hopefully these turn out well so my husband likes some smash down so I'm gonna go ahead and do that hopefully this will work out now yeah I'll be fine not as super easy to do but it's okay um, he also thinks that these are pretty bland tasting most AIP uh, recipes that I do he thinks they're very bland um, I do think he may find this one bland as well potentially but um, we'll see sort of yeah. bland yeah mm -hmm. that's what I thought so another recipe he thinks is bland I am not really well, satisfied because they're just not sweet True, okay. Are you recording? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't really know how to make them sweeter. Maybe vanilla extract, maybe some carb powder, maybe some cinnamon would have been good. I would not add baking soda in the future. Um, I do think that that had that reaction with that lemon juice, and it's just not worth it. But yeah, um, the inside of them, I just, they're kind of gooey. So, kind of gooey, chewy texture this is a flour I used um, coconut protein blend and then cassava flour people say to mix like tiger nut with cassava so you don't get that gooey texture I haven't seen any um, any truth to that just yet also they say tapioca causes it to be gooey so not really sure um, but I'll keep experimenting with it Hope y'all enjoy. Just did my cream with this almond milk, coconut oil, and this plant-based yogurt, which is actually kind of soury tasting, and this lemon. So four ingredients. Um, this actually would be better for something that you're wanting to get more of a sour, creamy taste, but we'll see. This is what it ended up as, so I'm going to go ahead and just dip in there and test it uh, instead of drizzling. Not super fancy. Um, so yeah, let me see. That's actually good. It has like um, 
the way I made it, I might have added a little bit too much lemon this time, but overall that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think my husband will be able to tolerate that if I drizzle that on there. Cool beans.